Hi angels. I know what you're thinking. A bitch has been taking forever to friendly film this video when you were absolutely freaking right. This is my first official video on my channel. And I would say subscribe, but I'm gonna let you guys decide that until the freaking end. And I know what you're thinking. Another girl that wants to become an influencer, da da da. You're right. I do. But for many, many reasons, despite the fact it's not for the numbers. Are y'all it is not for the fucking numbers, it is for the fact that I don't know about you guys. But as a kid growing up, I feel like I would lock myself away in my room and watch a bunch of YouTube videos and just like escape. They would be my safe place and at the end of the day how funny. Ten years later, the girl sitting in front of her very own camera for the first time welcoming you guys to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, my name is Nicole. I honestly don't think I put that in the beginning. I am stupid. But yes, my name is Nicole, aka Baby Girl NS. Maybe you don't know me, but I would love if you got the chance to get to know me because I honestly want to get to know you guys. I feel like at the end of the day, I have. I don't want to get into a sob story, but I don't have anybody. And at the end of the day, I feel like my camera and like the people that I reach out to and like talk to online are genuinely just my family so why not fucking grow that shit because even if it's a number one ten whatever the fuck it may be all i ever wanted in life someone i can talk to escape to just confide in and a bitch didn't have that growing up so i felt the need to come and take it upon myself to become that for maybe not you but the person after you, whoever the fuck comes across this video honestly and feels the need to take their time and watch it. <laughs> because not everyone is one to, which is completely fine at the end of the day. I just want to create a safety zone not only for myself but everyone else who can relate to me when they, I say I, you feel alone, you feel insecure, you don't feel like you're good enough, you want to put yourself out there, just... Anything you can possibly think of when it comes to feeling like you need someone to help push you and motivate you, I want to be that because I didn't have that growing up and why the fuck not? Honestly, why not? So on Instagram and on TikTok um, to see exactly what you guys were interested in because honestly, I don't know who will care about a bitch, but the fact that some people do and obviously are kind of interested in getting to know me this is for you and i hope anyone else who comes across this video <laughs> feels the need that i didn't waste a fucking time about yourself when it comes to people asking like tell me about yourself my mind blank so let's get this q a started um i actually get this question a lot and i don't know why i don't know if y'all think a bitch is i don't know what you guys think a bitch does for work i'll be honest but I don't think you guys would guess a contractor's assistant. I like organize paperwork. I go to accounting meetings. I take care of paying the, like the employees, etc. Like all that boring paperwork shit. I do. <laughs> um, I'm sure you guys didn't expect that, huh? I don't know who's gonna peep that I organize the pillows differently. But I didn't notice in the beginning that they weren't organized the way that I thought. My dog sleeps on this couch, so. She been making a mess, I guess. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out because I know as someone watching, I'm like, bitch, the fuck? But <laughs> anyway, or you don't care. If you don't care, it's okay. Okay, so let's get the second question on the ball. Let's keep it rolling. And if you know, you know, a bitch is 21, okay? You can fit a whole wine bottle in this thing. I, I just wanted to put that out there, okay? And it keeps it cold. Anyway. Okay, don't judge. A bitch needed a little bit of liquid courage because I get kind of shy, okay? I'm kind of a little introvert. But I'm trying here. I'm trying to put myself back out there into the fucking world instead of hiding myself away. Because, bitch, I'm young. We gotta leave it the fuck up but now. Anyway. <laughs> okay, the second question I got is, what's your dream job? Look, I know what you're gonna say. Once again, cheesy as fuck. But I always wanted to be an influencer. Not necessarily for the numbers, but just to say that I tried. I put myself out there enough to 
give myself a little bit of confidence if that makes sense but not only just that but a social worker i feel like if you know me you know that that has always been my goal in life i have dealt with the shittiest fucking social worker my entire life and when it comes to oh can i switch bitch i got a no a straight no like you can't but anyway that's just that's besides the point i've always wanted to be a social worker i don't know what it is but before that i did want to get a little bit into child care if that makes sense i want to work in um, a group home at first if that makes sense and then slowly transfer on get the experience and then go and fully go and be a social worker i don't know in what order it goes a bitch is gonna go back to school this motherfucking year okay so i will get back to you on all that smart shit stuff okay but i need to start <laughs> okay next question is how tall are you and how much do you weigh i'm just gonna answer this in one a bitch is five three five motherfucking three and i weigh 110 averaging i feel like my weight fluctuates a lot in between like you know i don't know a bitch eats a lot i don't understand and i know every single time i see well when i did see my family because i don't see them anymore but be oh my god nicole you're so skinny you're losing weight da, da, da. bitch i eat i don't know why don't hate on me just I don't know regarding why. that question one last thing just don't comment on people's weight don't comment on things people cannot control it is fucking ugly thank you <laughs> that's despite everything okay besides okay. that okay and next question I'm gonna stop saying that because obviously you guys get that I'm asking and answering questions anyway <laughs> Where are you from and what sparked your unique style? I was born and raised from Merit from bitch, how the fuck don't I know how to say that word and I bitch hold I on. I was born and raised prominently. Prominently? Prominently. Prominently? Bitch damn, I'm stupid. <laughs> I need to read. All I'm gonna say is I was born and obviously grew up a majority of my life in East Los, but I did move around a lot due to foster care if you know you know but and but my parents oh my god my god I'm sorry but my dad is actually from Guadalajara bitch don't know how to fucking say it I honestly my entire life growing up have never known how to say that fucking word so don't come for me calling me a fucking El Sabo kid okay don't do that but and then my fucking birth giver I don't know where that bitch is from I'll be honest just somewhere in Mexico well I don't care oops Anyway, I know that was pretty negative, huh? I just don't know where my freaking... I don't care. I don't care. That's... I don't care. I'm sure you guys thought that I was pretty negative in that last one. But if you have absent parents, you know. You know, like I said, I give them a round of applause for and giving birth to a motherfucking goddess. But besides that, they didn't do much raising. That's all I have to fucking say. They definitely checked the fuck out after a certain point. I don't fucking know, but shit. <sighs> Why do I have to care about people who don't care about me? I have you guys, so it's okay. Look at me, <laughs> I got sidetracked. What sparked your unique style? Okay. I'll be honest, I felt like just growing up watching a bunch of music videos like Sierra, the Pussycat Dolls, just who else? Let me see. Gwen Stefani, J Lo, like in her their old 2000 music videos. I feel like that is just what like this always interested me like growing up i'm like i'm gonna wear that growing up like watch and guess what i am sure as hell trying i am stuck in the 2000s era i don't know about you guys i am just in love with the fashion the music just everything i am just, just fucking kisses i haven't gotten over it but that is what sparked my unique style or sparked my style 2000s music videos just brat stalls i don't know if y'all used to play with brat stalls if you know you know if you used to all I gotta say is you are bound to be a motherfucking fashionista. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel just, like I just didn't want to look back at old photos of myself and be like, I wish I would have worn this. I wish I would have done this. I wish... No, I swear, throughout my entire middle school and high school experience, I would cover myself up. I would wear long sweaters. I would wear jeans. I would just try to hide myself as a person. And that's a whole other topic as to why. But just be confident in your skin and in yourself because at the end of the day you only have to please yourself and feel confident in what you wear and not give a fuck about what anybody else thinks because they're not the one wearing it i feel like that's just how i started to live 
because I didn't live that way my entire growing up, you know what I'm saying? So, we're still young now. Live it the fuck up and wear whatever the fuck you want, baby girl, because you are going to look good in it. Don't, don't, don't doubt that. Do not doubt that. Look, you got me hesitating thinking about how gorgeous you're going to look. Wear whatever the fuck you want, bitch. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> that wine. Okay. So the next question is going to be, how did you get the confidence to put yourself out there and start becoming an influencer? I don't even consider myself an influencer yet, to be fucking honest. But I love each and every single person that is supporting me and motivating me to continue and grow and put myself out there. And I want to say how, honestly, just stop giving a fuck. Just live your life for yourself and start to chase your dreams and do whatever the fuck you want that pleases you. Because at the end of the day, you only have one life to fucking live. And that is just the mo motto I started to tell myself. That is honestly just it. Don't be afraid of rejection or the numbers. or Don't don't be afraid of that. At the end of the day, this is a guessing game whether or not you're going to take off. It could happen to her. It could happen to... It could happen to fucking anybody, to be fucking honest. So do not be so hard on yourself, honestly. Just yes. chase your fucking dreams. And if putting yourself in front of a camera and reaching an audience is one of them, do it. It, it's a scary game, it's a chance game, but it is a chance you have to take on yourself. Come on, I just want to take a little break because I want to show you guys my fit. Look at the cute little detail, the little candy. What is it? The little hair tie we used to wear as kids. If you know what you know. A little white halter top. Some shorts. I got them, I believe, at H&M. I was giving very much hoochie and a bitch is here for it. Oh, and wait till you see my shoes. Juicy bitch, juicier than not my coochie. Uh, girl, I feel so fucking cute. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. <laughs> anyway, next motherfucking question is what could you talk about for hours? I don't know about you guys, but I am super into conspiracy theories. I don't know what it is. I feel like there's just so much more to life than we know. So, what's something you could talk about for hours? Like, shit, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. I don't know. And if you know any conspiracy theories, please send them to me. Please send them my fucking way because I am always interested in hearing new things, seeing new things. Please, send them my motherfucking way. Oh, and fashion. I'm not gonna lie to you. A bitch is obsessed with fucking clothes. I don't know what it is. So, the next question I got is, how do you get your makeup to look so flawless? Let me tell you, baby girl, it is all about your base to me and setting spray. When I say I douse my bitch in setting spray, I douse my face in setting spray. But if you guys want a makeup tutorial, please comment down below and I will gladly give that to you guys. I feel like that would make me kind of more interactive because I'm going to have to tell you guys like step by step. I'll eventually I'm sure we'll put one out but if you do want one I will put it more I will put it out more recently if that makes sense but trust me it is all about the base primer I know some people don't believe in primer but I don't know why I do I believe in setting my face because at the end of the day this makeup has to stay on it so anything that can help but in relation to that, I did get asked what my favorite foundation is, and it is the L'Oreal Infallible. My to go. My go. My to go, bitch. My go to. I am freaking. I don't know what is wrong with me. I get tongue twisted a lot. I think it's the wine. Uh, I think it's the wine catching up to me, guys. <laughs> but, and I am gonna try the Juvia, the Velvety Matte foundation so i will let you know how that works i feel like i got really stuck on the l'oreal infallible and i haven't switched up on it i don't know about you guys the minute i found a foundation that i know works for me and it is my color i'm not switching i'll wait a little bit until i switch but yeah that is my go-to foundation i feel like you guys are probably fucking bored by now i didn't expect to have this many questions to be answered if i'm being honest with you so bear with me i am gonna cut it short and i am gonna have to do a part two okay but i am gonna answer like a couple more questions just ones that i feel like i got super frequent okay i got asked what is your little bitch so i got asked what is your biggest fear girl what do you think i'm curious what you think i look like i would be afraid of just curious but a 
bitch is afraid of heights. I am freaking scared of heights. I don't know why. I went on a hike the other day with my girlfriend. And y'all, when we got to like a certain point in the hike, I like started to like shake. Like when I was like, girl, what the fuck? Why is my tiny ass dog still trying to go up higher? Like, bitch, I'm fucking scared. Like, can we go back? Like, can we go back down? I'm going to slip if I continue to walk because of how much I'm shaking. Besides that, losing someone I love, though. And the ocean. I'm scared of the fucking ocean. I can swim. Don't get me fucking wrong. But do you know, like, there's the fact that I can't see a bottom and I have drowned before. I, I just don't correlate that correctly in my fucking head. The ocean is my fear as well. <laughs> I don't know. And for y'all curious about the little baby that was crying in the back, she's fine. She is just crying for my girlfriend who is outside waiting for me to finish this video because I get shy around her. Huh, mama? Yeah, stop crying. I'm right here, gorgeous. I'm right here. <laughs> she needs a haircut, okay? She needs a fucking oh, haircut. Shoot. Since I've been talking about my girlfriend, let me just say how long have I been with her. We're actually going to make four years on 4th of Aww. July. I'm obsessed with her. I'm sorry. That's besides the point. I just wanted to answer that fucking question because that was another one that I got. And obviously she's the love of my life because she's the one pushing me and motivating me to get this fucking YouTube channel done and out there instead of being a shy and secure motherfucking bitch who doesn't believe in herself. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're coming to a closing. I just feel like I don't want to bore you guys to fucking death because maybe not all of you guys want to get to know a bitch. But for those who do, I will do a part two. Do not worry. Do not motherfucking worry. I have more questions here. And if you guys have any more questions you were interested in, of course, comment them down below. Send them to me on my DM on Instagram, TikTok. My socials will be not only linked down below, but it'll be in the end. But anyway, okay, it is. What was your first tattoo? My first tattoo was actually this 94. <sighs> Let me talk about it. It was, or it is. My, the birth year of my favorite rapper and I say rapper because he's not necessarily a rapper I feel like he does more simp music if you know you know it is Fora's birth year yeah that's all I have to say it is Fora's birth year that was my first tattoo growing up as a little kid I feel like he helped me a heck of a lot that's besides the point like going through stuff his music was just relatable okay and my favorite tattoo. What is my favorite tattoo? I'll be honest, bitch, if it's not my whole arm sleeve, my whole Medusa, my hatred toward men and all that. But besides that, I feel like I would say every piece is my favorite tattoo. But the piece that I feel like helped exude a confidence in myself that I didn't think this little piece would. Let me show you. It's gonna be this one. Is it gonna load? There you go. It's called Vitiligo. And I actually do have that tattoo twice. I have it back here as well. If you guys can see. I have it twice. And... <coughs> oh! <coughs> A bitch is choking. If you guys know what that means. And if you don't, it is actually a skin disease that does cause me looking back in that video and realizing I said skin disease. It is not a skin disease. It is a skin condition. Condition. I'm sorry. That was very, I think, rude to not only myself but to anybody else who may have it because it is not a fucking disease, bitch. You're not sick. Okay? Nothing's wrong with you if you have fucking vitiligo. Anyway, I'm sorry. That just got me mad. Watch you back. How's <laughs> the pigmentation in your skin? And I feel like as a little girl growing up, um, I just was did not embrace it. I was so ashamed of it. I didn't want to accept that I did have this skin disease. And at the end of the day, I can't change it. I can't make it go away. I've gone through every doctor, every medicine, medication you think you could be on, any lotion, just gone through it all. There was no point in beating myself for some beating myself up for something that I cannot control. So might as well fucking embrace it honestly and that is just how i've been living my life my motto i was just tired of people asking me like oh what is that like what is your skin just pointing it out like that my skin was obviously i was losing pigmentation in certain parts of my skin as a kid growing up like i want to get emotional talking about it but i was tired of getting asked that question so i thought if i just tattooed it on my body maybe people would understand that it is something that i have and i'm tired of answering the question it is 
it is not a, it is not me it is a skin disease that is a part of me and that is that is why I have that tattoo on me so this happens to be my favorite tattoo it is called vitiligo and if you know you know as well as my finger tattoos I have to do a whole tattoo tour that is a whole nother fucking video but thank you guys to anyone who stayed till the end of the video obviously because you did not have to you're just hearing a girl ramble and just talk and you know thank you because you didn't have to stay all the way to the end and I do want to say I appreciate every single person who just cares about me and just is so supportive and motivating it just it counts and makes up for the people that are absent in my life so I do want to say I appreciate and do love every single person that is taking the time out of the day to watch this video yeah so I would like to say you can finally subscribe to my channel if that is something that you would love to do yeah I don't know this I don't know how to end this video I feel like it got kind of emotional in the end and I'm like bitch you're a bad bitch don't cry but thank you okay thank you for watching my first YouTube channel YouTube channel bitch YouTube video look at me look I'm getting time to sit thank you for watching my first YouTube video on my channel and stay tuned for more bye guys Girl, I'm the fuck out. <laughs> okay, after going through all the videos that I filmed, I felt like I didn't answer that many fucking questions. <laughs> I let the wine hit me and a bitch was just blabbering. But I swear that like next week I will upload a part two and answering more personal questions that I would ask. So please stay tuned for that and thank you to anybody who actually stayed all the way to the end.